Hello Gardeners, we're here at Edible Landscaping in Virginia and today we are at their Persimmon Festival that happens once a year and um, we're excited to get some rare varieties of persimmons. We already have a Giombo here and we're going to grab a few more. So I want to take you on a tour. They're going to give us some medicinal tours and some persimmon tasting if they have them uh, available at that. Uh, ripe and available for us to taste but uh, this is some of the varieties they have I will uh, try to video each one of them so you can see I know they ship to your home uh, but I know a lot of them they do not have it online so if you're able to take a trip here it's not that far from you you should I will I highly recommend it because the prices are also very affordable we are gonna choose several for our property i do want to take this giambo i heard it's a good one so we might i'm not sure if i'm gonna grab a couple or one but uh yeah i will show you the varieties here and this is at edible landscaping they have them labeled each one of them here and what I like is that you can read the description and you can decide what's best for you they have a lot of uh, the popular Fuji and also um, some red varieties which is what I'm looking for so I can have something different we already have grabbing some there It's a pretty place to visit in fall because you can see all the foliage of the trees here. Really beautiful. I will go in each of the varieties they have here so you can see. They sell online and they cheap. Some of the other fruit trees they have here are jujubes, got lamb, lee, honey yard. We have a couple and some of the ones here that we put in our orchard is already giving us fruits. We harvest some in the first year. They also have plums. They all they have all kinds of kinds of um, fruit trees here. Let me also put the price so you can see what the um, prices are. Well, the um, plums are about forty eight dollars at this time here in twenty twenty four. Prices might change. They got some Asian pears. They got uh, European pears. Look, they have a Korean giant asian here and the price of this one is 68 dollars they got some cherry trees they got the rainier cherry and the cherries are about 68 dollars too cherry kristen don't forget that some um, some cherries you need to pollinate you have you need to have a pollinator like a, a sweet cherry and it's such sour cherry so just read the instructions Got some up, uh, crab apple. They got some big papas here. They're about 125, and they are native to our zones. Papas taste kind of like a mixture between, like a mango or a banana. They are pretty big. Usually I see them at the nursery and they're very small, like half the size probably. 
these ones here they're bigger you know they take a long time to fruit about seven years so if you grow if you want to grow them you should go with the bigger one so you have less time to wait we are at the edible landscaping persimmon festival and i want to take a quick video of the items they have and so you can see also the price these are 58 dollars usually at their festival they they do a discount so all of these are going to be 20 percent off so they're mostly 58 dollars each depending on the variety depending on the size They have some blueberries here. Let me give you the prices of this one. So it's $48. So you can have an idea of the prices here. They are pretty big. I will highly recommend that every time you are buying a plant, that you look at the description of that particular variety as this one says that is a low maintenance and high disease resistant so that is a plus so you don't have to deal with a lot of diseases i mean there's a still a way that they will get something but uh, not as other varieties We have some fussy kiwis that are cohardy from zones 5 to 9. We also have these varieties here. We are here inside their greenhouse, so let's see what they have. I see they have strawberries. They have small gooseberry plants. We have uh, small blackberries. If you want to save money, but the smaller, the longer it will take to bear fruit. We have tiny blueberries. I might take one just to see how fast they grow versus the one we usually buy. We have some figs here. Some of them they already had fruits here. They have elderberries, more blueberries. These are sunshine blue. These are uh, uh, blueberry powder blue. This one here, uh, I call it Ruda. You don't need to buy a big plant because they grow, they grow fast. So you can save money by just buying them small. They have some pretty small peach. These are patio peaches. And we have some kiwis that are hardy to cold zones. I like it better than the, the Rosellianco. I like this one better. That's a Guillambo. It's a large Hychia type that's late. It's also good for the deep south. And it uh, it grows in Houston, Texas. It grows, I got it right, uh, I, got, I have it growing in the woods um, in a small garden in Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to be soft. And there's probably some in here. And if people want to find a nice soft one, we'll cut it up. My color is awesome. It's called Nikita's Gift. Nikita's Gift. Nikita's Gift. Nikita's Gift. Fruit are on here. We picked that many fruit off of it today. Mm -hmm. 
So Fire Crystal is a little bit larger than Nikita's gift, but it's another hybrid. And kind of it kind of needs some some uh, water too, I think. But it's starting to ripen. <coughs> Look at that pretty color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just so beautiful. Do these dry well? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I you can. In fact, what's nice about them is you can put them on the skin side like this in your dehydrator, so they don't really stick to the screen. So. Um, and talking about dehydrators, I bought from Cabela a um, state-of-the-art dehydrator. I earned it after all these years and all those cheap ones that you found, you know. Pomegranate. And it did have two fruit, but they're gone. the customer must have found them. This is fennel. And these seeds, if you chew on these seeds, they taste really good. They taste like licorice. Here, I see one right there. You cannot eat these now. They're totally astringent. You see that little fruit? They look like little candy corns. This is a, a, a Japanese variety that is bonsai a lot. Um, you know, because uh, blet or they just stay on the tree uh, until like February. You come out and they've dried into a little date. And they're quite delicious. The uh, Japanese variety called Smith's Best. It's a dwarf tree, never ha never has any red color in the leaves. Um, one of the best flavored of the of the um, soft when ripe types. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me. I can get a ladder too if needed. Look at that stretch. So. So. I think that's where they, where the artists got it from, that they were imitating, imitating that, September and October. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Or as, you know, they weren't sticklers to variety names yeah. like I am. But anyway, that's, um, they're, they're so pretty, I would just pull one of those out of there. Okay. So we're still here at the Persimmon Festival and we are tasting uh, some persimmons. This is the Rosianca and it has to be very soft to eat and we're gonna try this one. Oh, it's, it's good it's sweet i like it and this is a gyro oh it's, it's really good too but i want to try this one this one is called smith's best and it's also it has to be very soft to eat it. I think out of the ones I just tried, I like this one better because it tastes kind of like a mango but sweeter. In my opinion, it has, it's better tasting than the other one. So it's good that you come here and try so you can see what um, they taste like before you buy it. But uh, pretty good. We are still here at Edible Landscape and this is the Citrus Greenhouse. So let's see what they have and see if I might bring something. We have here some Meyer lemon and they're already putting up lemons. More lemon here. This is another Meyer lemon. We got a big kumquat tree here. Got citrus, last sweet orange here. Some pineapple guava. And this one is cold hearted to our sons. No. Got some key lime here. Oh, that's that's the Thai soup lemon, like and some things like that in, in Thailand. Oh, they're not they're not for eating. Eating. Uh, You'd have to ask a Thai cook. <laughs> okay. So my mistake. This is a lockwood. Michael, the owner of the nursery, just told me that, and this might be coming home with me. <laughs> they got some pretty big pomegranates and look at this lemon tree here how beautiful is that 
can't wait for mine to grow that big. Vitamins and nutrients and antioxidants are to make them black tea. So black tea is not bad for you, but it doesn't have the same punch on your immune system and your body as the green tea does. So you can use the small leaves when they first come out. They call that white tea. And then the actual green tea is when the leaves get a little bit bigger. Now this one, um, I find pretty interesting. I don't really use this one as much for like internal medicine. Um, this is called mugwort. And one of the medicines of this is for internal parasites. So you can only imagine what taking too much of it would do to you. Um, very good to see your face on my tour. It's <laughs> awesome. And speaking of crazy, this tree right here is called sassafras. And the way you can tell what it is, it's got three different shapes of leaf on it. So it's got a, a trilobe leaf like this, it's got an ovate leaf like this, and then somewhere you're gonna find a more of a mitten shaped leaf like this to a syrup and then add it to your fizzy water and make your own root beer out of it. But uh, carcinogenic if you take too much of it. So it's one of those things that I find if there's a controversy, if there's a chance, err on the side of caution and only do it a couple of times a year instead of like make it every week for like weeks at a time. There's another tree that we used to have growing back. That's just a joke, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but uh, comfrey is one of these things that you don't ever want to do internally. It can definitely hurt your liver. Uh, you know, no other way. Uh, you use the, loop, the leaf and the root for, I usually make them into salves. You can make poultices out of the leaves where you can take the leaf, mix it with some hot oil and make a compress out of it to, to put it on for uh, sore joints, uh, ten tendons, you know, sore muscles, all kinds of things. Okay, so we finished the tour here. We did the persimmon tasting, we did the medicinal tour, and we went home with a few plants. I think that my favorite persimmon was the yumbo, and the least favorite, in my opinion, was the rosianca and the kim, uh, this kim. Those were a little uh, not my favorite, but they're still good. So, uh, also the Smith Best was one of the favorites too. Between Smith, Be Smith Best and Giambo was the favorite. We got some plants and new fruit trees and we learned some new things. So I uh, hope you like the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And until the next video, let's keep on growing and green time together.